Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon. Oh, that's a beautiful fig tree. Let's see the fig. <laughs> okay, uh, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Let's sit in the garden here. Okay. Here I am at uh, uh, Musée Bourdel, Bourdel Museum. And uh, I came to this museum because one of my friends recommended this place. And she is uh, by herself an art, uh, very much connected to art, to uh, to a fashion show and uh, uh, design architects and and uh, uh, art therapy and all this <laughs> my hair is bumping up so anyway uh, she recommended this museum and I find it it's such a, such a rewarding experience coming here Something particularly interesting is about uh, his models painting in this place. He painted in this place. He has uh, three muses in his life. The first one was uh, a widow, eight years senior of his age. The model, I think, is Marie La uh, Marie La Prat, and she herself is uh, a painter. She helped to finish some of the panel. I do not know whether this one or which one is. And uh, they have uh, he. She is the initiator for her, for Bourdel to start painting human figures and, uh, and uh, just an initiator to get all this started and uh, uh, Bourdel
Mortel wanted to marry uh, Marie, but Marie does not want to marry him and want to live, keep her lifestyle. And there came the second uh, muse. The second muse was Stephanie. And she was a model for a Paris magazine. And uh, uh, they exchanged some pretty hot letters, very passionate, devoted letters. I do not know which one this is, but uh, anyway. was the model. He painted a lot of uh, this uh, model. There is a, a family album. We can see it. Uh, let me see first. Marie. It's very interesting. This is Bourdain when he was 26, 28 years old. His auntie and father, Bourdel, and Bourdel himself in this oriental style, uh, draping clothes. And if you see his draping, is that the clothes draping is, is outstanding with that uh, particular uh, outstanding. Uh, expression. This is Marie Le Prat. This is Marie Le Prat from Bordel. Expression Marie Le Prat. And here comes Stephanie. He's uh, his wife, they married finally, and they had children together. And Stephanie became his inspiration. After a few years, there came another uh, young lady, Cleopatra. Cleopatra is from uh, minor Asia. Xiaoyaxia. It's near, let me see where, it nears, me, not Mykonos, it near, um, I went there, Olympia, uh, Greece. It's in Greece, Syria, it, it's minor Asia, anyway. And, uh, and this is a, uh, his son, and she became the third. She became the third inspiration for Bourdain. And uh, this is Stephanie. And uh, Stephanie. And this is Cleopatra. And uh, I, I just remember one word he said. Cleopatra, you are so beautiful. We do not need to do anything. You are beautiful as you are. All we need to do is just to copy you. There is something that is so beautiful. The beauty of purity. The beauty of originality. And look at the nose, the Greek nose. And the beauty of... Uh, of something uh, mystic, mysterious, authentic, a little bit deadly, a little bit uh, determined, a little bit naive, a little bit uh, lost. All this, uh, all this uh, mysterious beauty in her face. Of course, 
Bourdel fell in love with her. And uh, I think they end up marrying. You can check more detail about his life. But uh, what I am feeling so interested about, uh, about this is that the appreciation of beauty and uh, the appreciation of beauty gets you lost in in life and uh, being an artist it is so understandable that uh, they are different kind. They are different. This is their daughter, Rodia. They are different. They are not. Uh, we cannot use our standard, our usual standard, to, to evaluate artists. Anyway. I feel I am uh, sneaking in into the world, the inner world of the artist, and I am so very sincerely grateful and uh, fortunate and uh, Bourdel did a lot of painting, drawing and uh, photograph so he took picture of, of, uh, of people, of things as a reference or just as a, a unique art form this definitely is Cleopatra there is the nose and you can you can feel this might be Stephanie how beautiful how fantastic ah, this is No matter who this is, art is real. When you live with somebody, you know the character. You know their happiness, their problem, their little nasty character, their, their lovely, cute little laziness or something. Anyway, this is so, so lively. This is a, a character with blood, with flesh. With soul, with spirit, with feeling, with sensation, emotion. That touches the artist, that touches us and the world. Reproduction. Follow the picture from Stephanie. That's the 
Okay, so this museum is called uh, Musée Bourdel and uh, it's, uh, it's the residence of Antoine Bourdel. Uh, he was born with name Emile Bourdel. Uh, what his name is not, uh, it is important, but uh, his artwork is really impressive. He's very prolific and, uh, and had a profound influence in the, in the, um, in the sculpture world. And he was a student of Auguste Rodin, Rodin's student. And he was the teacher of uh, Giacometti and uh, Marcel, uh, and uh, I forgot another artist. Anyway, so he was very influential and he made huge works. I saw there was one piece of work for um, Buenos Aires, and if you Yes, I saw some of his works in different uh, places. And I think the other day I visited a museum. It's a uh, body ballet. There was one piece of sculpture from, uh, from him, Bourdel. So I decided I must come here the day before my departure, leaving Paris. I came here. Okay, let's take a look. And they are huge, huge. Uh, artworks and you can see there is some uh, some elements of uh, Rodin's style uh, you see the old painting or, or the, the old uh, Roman sculpture or Greek sculpture Italian sculptures or even early French sculptures before Rodin uh, the sculpture are very smooth very um, very beautiful and smooth and Hodan's picture you really feel the energy the dynamic and the exaggerated muscles and this one you can see a little bit of Hodan's uh, 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 style this one a little bit of uh, like the gate of uh, hell L'Enfer, La Porte de, de l'Enfer. Anyway, so you see, and this one, and later on, his style is learned from Hodan and he developed his own style. A little bit Art Nouveau, a little bit Art Deco, and a little bit of new uh, art style, uh, uh, modern sculpture style <laughs> look at this one and he's uh, that one is uh, Adam contemplating and this one is Penelope I don't know whether this is uh, the wife of Odysseus Penelope or another from another uh, figure now let's take a look and the little jardin is so comfortable the huge huge horse and this is the profile style this room is the pastor room the path Plaster room. Plaster is. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You see, they are huge. That one is for Brunos Iris. And uh, the plaster is one of the methods to make a model. These are not the final work, these are the modeling testing experimenting period so cement sand and lime 
liquid water glue anyway um, something combined together rice rice soup <laughs> great wall of china was made of rice soup <laughs> yeah um, because rice together with sand may come becomes a very very strong uh, plaster strong stone over time so these are the plasters he made experiments with this and so that later on he will uh, fill in the the copper bronze and make into other huge works With this, I will finish my trip here. I wish you a happy, happy every day. Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do.